So basically here I'm just testing the cable so as you can see it's on very low ohms between the live and the live on the switch. So this is the input side of the switch live cable down to live pin on the plug I'll put it onto continuity and it beeps so I'm going to do the same now on the neutral there you go continuity and really low ohms reading so cable's good you check the fuse as well obviously in the plug but I'm not going to do that because it means taking the plug apart so now I'm going to test the switch So obviously I've connected between the two and turning them on and off. This is a double pole switch so you need to test both sides. So I'm on the neutral side now. On, off, really low ohm reading so you know it's good. Right, the next thing to check on these is the thermal cutout which is there. So I'm going to pull both these cables off and just do the same again, test for continuity between them. As you can read, really low ohms reading and it's buzzing. So put the black cable back on. Now I'm going to test the primary windings of this transformer. So I want to test between the two. As you can hear the buzzer beeping, and it's got a very, very low ohm reading. That is basically a short circuit, really, but because of the the way these work, these transformers, there's loads of magnetism and reactance and reluctance and all sorts going on that stops the inverse currents from tripping the circuit breaker. So basically, that's a good reading, really low ohms. So now I'm going to keep one side connected and test to the earth ground point. That's OL. Just make sure, double check that the stuff's working. And to the body of the transformer. So there's no leaks to earth. So that side's good. So I'll stop the video, turn it around, and test the secondary side. So that's it, I was going to do the same tests on the secondary side. Just make sure the winding is intact and there's no leakage to earth. Well this time I'm going to use a, a normal probe one it's easier. I've just connected this side to the uh, one side of it. I'm going to test the other side. So there you go, really low ohms, even lower than before. Because it's a thicker wire. And then I'm going to test this side as well to make sure it's the same. So I'm testing then connections as well in between there. And I do the same down here. So that's it. I know that all connections are fine. I know that both transformer windings are fine. The switch is fine. The cable's good. So this is a good working art welder. That's about it, nothing else really to mention of. The switch, cable, thermal cutter, and the primary and secondary transformer windings. Everything else is cheap, if that's gone you're probably going to have to buy a new welder. So.